chanter. Hello lovelies, I'm Angela, Parisian Farm Girl, and this is a little bit different, something I've never really done on the YouTube channel before, but I did receive some requests to share with you how I take care of my skin. So I thought that would be a lot of fun because not only do I love baking bread and gardening and rehabbing this house, but I try to make self-care a priority. Now, as a mother of six children, my mirror time is very limited. So when I'm gonna spend time in front of the mirror, it has to be quick and it has to be effective. I have to get the results I'm looking for. So I wanted to share with you seven things that I do to take care of my skin, seven ways that you can take care of your over 40 skin. And if you're not 40 yet, you can still get started and you can say, thank you, Ange, because I'm doing you a huge favor and you'll be all set for your 40th birthday. My heart is to encourage you because no doubt as a woman, you are some sort of a caregiver. So you're either caring for children or for elderly parents or maybe you're the person at work that really loves on and cares on the people in your work environment. And I want to encourage you to set aside time for yourself and take care of yourself. If you can't find four to seven minutes a day to do a few things for yourself, then probably somewhere else things are out of whack. So let's get started on my tips for taking care of your skin. And my first tip is really, really easy. It is hydration. It's fantastically simple. Ladies, we cannot drink espresso and red wine all day as much as we would like to. Hydration is key. So some of my hints that I give you are going to be about working from the inside out. Beauty is uh, skin deep, if you will. Beauty comes from the inside out. So a lot of the things I talk about are going to be about creating a healthy environment inside so that your skin, this top layer, can be the best that it can be. The simplest way I stay hydrated is to use my water bottle or keep a couple ball jars on the kitchen countertop and just sip them all day long. I'm not talking about drowning yourself, I'm just talking about sipping on a little water all day long. Now to make it fun, you can drink carbonated water. I have a soda stream. I love to drink Pellegrino and carbonated water. That's like a little treat for me during the day, but be sure to stay hydrated. The second thing I do for my skin is that I consume healthy fats. Okay, avocados, olive oil, coconut oil, almonds, omega-3s. These are all vital to having beautiful skin. Avocados are very high in vitamin E, which stimulates collagen production, something that gets less and less and less and less and less from the day we were born. Very important for the over 40 crowd. And think about the women that you've seen while vacationing in Greece and Italy, if you have been so lucky, or seeing pictures of Greek vacations, Italian vacations, those women, it's rather disconcerting, isn't it? They always look so phenomenally beautiful. Their skin is olive and gorgeous, and they are consuming olives and olive oil on a daily basis. We always hear that term, Mediterranean diet. Well, it's a real thing. Consumption of olive oil and olives increases vitamin E and vitamin A. These two vitamins help strengthen connective tissues they protect against UV damage, they improve tone and quality, all things that we want, right? All those things sound very, very good. So you wanna be sure that you are consuming healthy fats in your diet. Now let's talk about one more thing uh, concerning beautiful skin from the inside out. Now in the spirit of full disclosure, I am a rep for doTERRA. In fact, doTERRA Essential Oils, if you didn't know, is our family business. So there are a few things where I will make a little money if you buy them, I want you to know that. Um, something I swear by is doTERRA's Lifelong Vitality Pack. Now in the past, I was not a supplement person. They made me very ill. I didn't care for them at all, but I, I tell you ladies, I would never go a day without taking my lifelong vitality. I have these approved by my midwife. She works with me on my health and I have full approval from her on these. They are essential vitamins and minerals, fully chelated, which means that you are not excreting them and wasting your money, if you know what I mean. Omega-3s, they are bioavailable, so your body feels like it's, cons your body thinks it's consuming food, and in fact it is. If you see the ingredients list, it would blow your mind. But the Lifelong Vitality Pack has helped me with all the aches and pains um, from a car accident I was in as a child, from all the work I do on the farm and in the garden. And when I look at pictures of myself from five years ago to today, my skin actually looks better today at 43 than it did five years ago. And I've had customers say the same thing to me. That's a very, very powerful thing. So remember, your skin is the outermost covering of your body. So keep your body healthy from the inside 
and that outermost covering is going to give you the results that you're looking for. Now we know skin is made up of cells. Cells are constantly dying and regenerating. You have to get rid of the dead skin cells. You have to exfoliate. This is my my uh, shower scarf. So I scrub my back with this, but I have uh, loofah gloves. I wash my face morning and night. You have to get the dead skin cells off. You have to wash off the makeup, ladies. You can't go to bed with your makeup on. Nothing will age you faster than leaving all that junk, pollution, free radicals, makeup, oils, dead skin. Leave it on your face. Splash a little cold water in the morning and put it all back on again. No, 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 no. You have to wash your face in the morning. You have to wash your face at night, exfoliating it. I use those shower gloves when I wash my face. I scrub my whole body down with some loofah, get all that dead skin off so that the new skin underneath can be exposed and be shiny and scrubbed and fabulous. So exfoliating is another trick of mine. Next on my list, now we're gonna move on to like skincare, right? Ange, what do you use on your skin? Well, of course I use doTERRA. Um, I am a self-professed skincare snob. So I've used many, many high quality brands of skincare um, from Caudalie to Peter Thomas Roth. And just in um, discovering over the last many years what some of those ingredients were doing to my body, I am making conscious steps all the time to wean myself off of hormone disrupting products and use more natural products that will still give me the results I want. So I wanna to talk to you about my favorite essential oil that I use on my skin. Now there's a lot, you'll be able to check the blog post where I'm really gonna flesh this out. But Immortel, that's a great name for beautiful skin, isn't it? Immortel is a rollerball that doTERRA makes and it is a blend of all the swanky skincare oils. So I will wash my face at night and use this all over my face. And anytime I'm talking, I should say, I'll use it all over my skin as part of my skincare routine. Now, anytime I am referencing my skincare routine, I'm talking about from up here to clear down here. Um, that whole area, that's all very thin skin. It's all going to age. You wanna take care of your chest and your neck and your hands, just like you do your face, right? Who wants to have a fabulous face at 58 and look like an old dinosaur everywhere else? We don't want, we don't want that. But Immortel is my favorite essential oil. Essential oils are fat soluble, so they're quickly absorbed into the skin. So that's very antithetical to what I thought at first. I was very put off by the idea of using oil on my skin. I thought, well, that's just gonna make me break out and cause all sorts of problems. But I swear by this oil. Um, it's helped me get rid of some very significant pregnancy mask and liver spots, if you will, from all the multiple pregnancies. I swear by it, if you were gonna start with just one basic, easy peasy skincare oil, I would recommend Immortel. Now, if you want to have beautiful skin, you actually have to use products on your skin. I'm sure that 99.9% .9 of you watching are born with some sort of skin flaw, be it too dry, too bumpy, too big of pores, too something. Most of us aren't born with flawless, poreless Marilyn Monroe skin. Her skin was beautiful if you've ever seen her without makeup. Wow. So you gotta use skincare. Um, I use Virage Serum after my Immortel. This is also by doTERRA. I find that it's very comparable, if not better, to the Caudalie Serum, and it's just one of my favorite products. So I use that morning and night. It's not greasy, despite the name Serum. And I follow with their hydrating cream. Again, I'm gonna unpack this a lot more in the blog post if you want more details. But I love this hydrating cream because again, it's loaded with essential oils that work for your skin and there are no hormone disruptors. So when I say hormone disruptors, what I'm talking about is some of these big names, Rodan and Fields, a lot of the stuff at your counters at the mall, there are a lot of chemicals in there. You can do the research on the toxicity level. Those hormone disruptors enter our bloodstream. We're using them every day from you know the age of 17 on up in our makeup and our skincare cheap products from Target, and they're causing all sorts of problems for us. Breast cancer, ovarian cancer, all sorts of lady problems, thyroid problems. They're messing up this natural hormone system that God gave us. So in the last five years, I've really been pleased to wean myself off of all that junk, and I encourage you to do the same. Hydrating cream, love it. 
frankincense, lavender, jasmine, and geranium. Major, major oils, phenomenal for the skin. And last but not least, an eye cream. Gotta have an eye cream. This is the weakest tissue and the thinnest on your face, so it's gonna take a hit, the fastest. That's why we get crow's feet and all that business we don't like. I leave my eye cream in the refrigerator um, because it has a little stainless steel roller ball, one pump. I'm not gonna put it on now because I have makeup. And I rub it under my eyes and I actually rub it around my lips because we've all seen our mothers or grandmothers get those little um, lines around their lip, even if they're not smokers. The skin just kind of starts to break up there and uh, we wanna take good care of that. So those are a couple of, those are my staple products that I use every day morning and night. Now, last but not least, I'm gonna throw a little controversy at you. Ready? I don't wear SPF. I have not found an SPF that is not just full of garbage. In the reading I've done, the sun is healthier than the SPF. I do wear sunglasses. Are these filthy? They're probably filthy. And I do wear a hat every time I leave the house. Sunglasses, hat. It protects the chest, it protects the neck, it protects my face. I don't squint because I'm wearing sunglasses, so I'm not walking around going like this all the time, creating lines when I don't mean to. But that's it, those are my hints, let me see. Hydration, healthy fats, supplements from the inside out, exfoliating, uh, essential oils, some really good healthy skincare, and I dropped my hat. So I'll show you my sunglasses. Sunglasses and a hat. That is how I take care of my skin. Not a big deal, right? That skincare routine takes me about four minutes morning and night. I actually look forward to it. That's my treat. I've cared for my kids, we've homeschooled, I've gardened, I've done my work. I get to wash my face, I get to smell the oils, it feels so good. It's something I have a lot of anticipation about and because it brings such great results, I don't mind investing the time. There's nothing worse than futility as a mother, right? We wanna get it done and we want it to have results. So there you have it. Seven ways I take care of my over 40 skin. If you're not 40, say thank you, Ange. I just did you a favor. A biento, check the blog post, be sure to subscribe, be nice. This was my first ever health and beauty video, okay? Be kind. Remember what Thumper's mother said, you can't say anything nice. Don't say anything at all. All right, a biento, I'll talk to you later. If, you, if there's something you wanna see, please let me know. I think I might show you how to do a quick mom manicure and some other fun stuff. Talk to you later.